Hello everyone. Today we have Dr. Sentil Nathan with us from Stanley Medical College. He secured All India Rank 22 in uh, the recent uh, NEET PG 2021. First of all, hearty congratulations, Sentil Nathan. How are you feeling? Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. First of all, and uh, I, I actually didn't expect this, sir. And then I didn't believe after a week uh, that once the results were published. But uh, okay, yes, I did my work. Then because of this, I got the result. So I uh, am feeling very uh, happy, sir. Yes. You finally your efforts paid off. As a thank, as a yes, sir. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Yeah. Okay, sir. Now, can you explain like uh, briefly what was your study plan and uh, how? What is your? Can you describe your journey in, sh in short? Sir, uh, basically my approach was different, sir. Actually, uh, uh, I made a plan such that because this is uh, one, one last time that we are able to study all these nineteen subjects in the MBBS curriculum. So I made a plan such. Uh, that I have to complete each and every subject so that uh, because after a PG we will be able to do only one subject. So I thought made a plan and uh, after finishing I made a subject plan uh, by covering each and every subject sir, uh, uh, step by step. Then uh, afterwards uh, uh, after completing each subject I gained confidence and I have uh, completed the 19 subjects sir. Fantastic! Like after doing, after reading, like you do MCQs and then uh, the videos. How how do you plan basically? Uh, basically, I planned. Uh, I will make a plan like that. I will study for uh, during a daytime and uh, okay. during night I will be working out uh, planning to to MCQs. Uh, the what which I had studied in during the daytime. Okay, and usually on an average, how many hours you use to read? Yeah, there will be good days, bad days, but like okay. on average, how many hours you use to read? As uh, sir, uh, around uh, about 10 hours, I will study on a good day, sir. Okay. And, and when I will not good, I will be used to study around or about uh, two to three hours, sir. And I will watch some cricket. I basically I fan of a cricket, so I used to watch okay. on those days. So that gives you the, that absorbs your shock and uh, absorbs your stress and uh, that gives you uh, feel motivated again. Ah, yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay. And uh, I will be use, uh, I, and also during uh, evening time, I will be using, uh, used to play cricket on the veranda of my homes. So that, that also keep me to uh, balance the stress, sir. Okay. So and, uh, and by the same time, I will be using to the schedule the studies, sir. Oh, fantastic. And uh, how many MCQs you used to do every day? Sir, uh, initially when I started preparation, I around I I'm not able to do much in sequence, sir, because I was on uh, pre making uh, concepts very strong. So usually that time around I will be not doing many much in sequence, about only fifty less than fifty like that. After once I completed uh, each uh, each and every subject, I gained the confidence and I will be doing uh, uh, about more than 100, 150 hundred one fifty per day, sir. And uh, by the end of my preparation, I will be doing. About I did about uh, 200 MCQs, sir. Oh, I so, yeah, yeah. MCQs. And uh, oh, yeah. see, out of this 200 or 100, whatever you attempt, like you'll be uh, you'll be making few questions wrong, like uh, probably percent, percent. So how are you going to consolidate those mistakes so that the mistakes won't be repeated in the future examinations? Uh, sir, uh, uh, I will jot down the the mistakes which I had uh, uh, the the MCQs which I made wrong in a okay. separate book, sir. And I will again uh, revisit in notebook the the class note uh, class notes, and I see what the mistake I had done. So then, uh, if it is repeating again, means I'll be uh, used to visit once in a week, or like again and or once twice in a week, like that. I correct the mistakes I which I had repeated again. So. Okay, fantastic. That's you. It's basically learning from the mistakes. It's one very, very valuable thing. So the mistake once done as a mistake and like it's going to repeat um, again. It's not the mistake made for a second time is never a mistake and it's a choice basically you are you are opting. So sure that mistake is not repeated so that um, as you make more mistakes during your mock tests and uh, your my MCQ examination, uh, MCQ uh, practice tests. So the less number of uh, uh, mistakes you're going to do in the final examination, you become more confident. Oh, yes, sir. Learning from mistakes is one very important thing. It's fantastic, Sindhu. Um, and there will be many factors which contributed to your success. But if I ask you, what are the three most important factors that contributed for your success? What do you rate? 
so first of all uh, my parents uh, my father and uh, mother and my sister uh, both uh, all of them are uh, really motivated keep motivating every day they never fail low they will used to uh, uh, they used to do uh, keep me uh, my moral up so that i can uh, and so that on a bad day also i can study some bit of uh, the keys are them uh, because of them uh, i will slept that so somehow i studied on on before going to the bed that's how i make sir and and family, also family is the biggest strength and if uh, the family can support you can do miracles and uh, again it's one more example from this side sir uh, and then uh, my friends sir and then uh, adr plexus sir uh, because of them only now i'm here i'm the uh, they i am achieved this only sir okay we are happy that uh, we are happy that adr plexus is one of the most important factors that contribute to your success can you please elaborate how does uh, how the adr plexus help you what are the aspects how adr plexus help you in your uh, success uh sir uh, uh the class that basically attended a live class live lecture sir it was a well uh, all the faculties were uh, a fantastic sir and then uh, each and every uh, faculties will take uh, to maximum their effort levels so so the faculties also doing that means uh, so then the students also put their effort so that i have studied uh, in that way sir to uh, improve my knowledge that's how i, I that's a one Uh, for this. and then uh, 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 subject wise test the adr plexus will be conducting uh, after every subject is once two are subject completed they will be uh, keeping every uh, sub- subject wise test uh, it also very uh, boon for the uh, to correct our uh, subject lack in that sir okay fantastic yeah. and uh, yeah please go ahead please go ahead sub- the faculty subject wise tests then uh, and then uh, and then like the arun sir support and as back uh, it was a uh, support sir because uh, you keep on your class will be a different one sir you will be asking each and every uh, student separately question and uh, your class are uh, really highly motivating sir uh, like we are happy to uh, listen that sense it help you yeah. and uh, arun sir contribution also very uh, great sir he will be uh, at the end of every class he will be coming and uh, and motivating all the students sir. that may be a uh, big so that uh, the students can somehow benefited so that they can achieve the, what they want so when you mention the notes it support you mention about the workbooks ah uh, yes sir ah uh, workbooks are awesome sir so it makes us to revise the concepts uh, we it make an active recall sir. so that if you read uh, at least two or ten one or two times means also you can remember in exam sir yeah. so it's very easy to re- remember so on the uh, making sir and uh-huh. yeah I mean, this workbooks are designed in such a way that they help you in visual memory so that you can see the images and you can remember them and the same thing for active recall and that helps you for a rapid revision because it's mm-hmm. then so that we have that that the workbooks are curated in such a way that uh, eases of the students uh, ah, yes it's it makes uh, it's actually like uh, some it's a synopsis of uh, the standard textbook like that so exactly exactly well going before our exam also we can uh, just if we want to see images means we can flip down the pages and you, we can easily finish it sir that's mm-hmm. a one important aspect sir and uh, if you have of seeing the mocks and subject wise tests uh, um, and the most important topics we present to give the hippos and all out of this uh, how much percentage of questions come from uh, either direct or indirect based on the mock test subject wise test and the important topics list we provided to you so actually is a uh, about 60 to 70% of the questions were uh, the important topics were repeating in the same uh, in, uh, the uh, need also sir okay. so uh, so the class notes is same sir so at it covers you know this almost it's more than enough sir but it gives you more extra advantage sir so, uh, fantastic uh, and during your preparation during your whole preparation this journey did you ever doubt your ability to success that will succeed ah uh, yes sir really sir actually it's a part and parcel of it the, the whole journey is uh, actually basically we, we do not compare uh, with uh, anybody other sir what you have is uh, with you your, your sources you keep on moving forward sir don't think that 
uh, the, uh, some students are starting early. It's never too late start, uh, to start, sir. So you can move what you have and then keep on moving, sir. That's how I maintain my rhythm, sir. Very nice message. Like uh, it's the way, like how we can move forward. That endurance has to be there, like to uh, succeed. Fantastic. Sir. And did you in this journey? Did you face the problem of volatile memory of few subjects or topics and years? Like uh, how did you cope up with that? I uh, said yes, uh, it's very difficult, sir. It had, because it has to be keep on mugging up, mugging up those, those facts, sir. So actually, I didn't like to mug up. So those uh, volatile topics, I used to make a separate note of it, sir. And then whenever I have uh, okay at every end of every thrice a week or a month, I used to review those, sir. So that uh, I cannot forget those volatile topics. So by making, keeping repeated again and again, I cope up with this uh, uh, volatile memories, volatile topics. Sir. That's fantastic. Uh, and on an ideal day, how do you chart your timetable? And have you prepared, do you have the habit of charting the timetable? And uh, if yes, then are you able to follow the timetable strictly? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I'll, I made a timetable such that uh, I keep on completing each and every subject, sir. So, for a short subject, I had kept around uh, uh, three to five days, sir. For a long subjects, I will kept around uh, about 10 to two, two weeks, sir. But it's difficult to stick to this, sir, because within those days, uh, because our portion is very two hours, so it's uh, difficult to make. So anyhow, I used to complete those 70% of the important topics which are covered in the class. Uh, the, left, the remaining left, I whenever, uh, if it's important, means I will use to study on another day, sir. Like that, I uh, schedule the subjects, sir, each and every subject. Uh, in the oh, that's fantastic. And Sindhil, have you underwent by any chance have you gone through a phase of depression and uh, how did you overcome that? Yes. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. I had, uh, yes, sir. But uh, because of the family support and friends support, yeah, they keep on. Uh, Okay, keep my mind. And uh, we can do that. And so today they are their happy parents that you made their uh, dreams turn true and the rest of confidence they are the interest in. Uh, yes. That's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. And what is your advice to the future aspirants? Uh, as a, uh, yes, uh, it's a. Uh, so basically, I guess uh, the store, um, I'll admit the juniors that said, okay. Uh, note down your goal and uh, just keep on uh, studying or make a plan make a target uh, don't uh, worry about the uh, uncertainties whether the exam will happen or not so keep on studying and uh, try to attend as much as gt possible sir, because that's the one which you uh, will that will be the simulation of the real exam practice of um, sorry <coughs> sorry for that practice of MCQs and also helping to learn from the mistakes basically. Yes, that gives a real simulation, sir. So I have to sit in the real exam for about three and a half hours to make use of that. So that even if uh, I, your, your, your day was done, that the big, your, uh, the practice of GTs will be uh, helpful during the exam days sir, on the real exam. That's fantastic. And so you want to say to your juniors that uh, fixing your goal and endurance and uh, Continuing the preparation, no matter what, not deviating, and uh, second, doing as many candidates as possible, and uh, the revision. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Into the MCQs, very nice. A lot of repeated postponements and cancellations during this period. How did you cope up with this? It's not easy. It's not very easy. Like uh, when you think, like I'm ready for the examination, suddenly the news pops out. And, uh, so how did you cope up with this, sir? When the new, first of all, uh, there were around. Uh, Two times uh, the exam got postponed. So every time I postpone, I will take a break of five days. So mm -hmm. I'll be doing whatever I want. Then I will be again back to the rhythm. So that okay, uh, we again it will be made uh, to study again, sir. Um, and uh, also afterwards, uh, during the first time postponement, uh, uh, sir, uh, six a.m. five a.m. club, sir, I am club. I had attended, sir. That will okay. be making so that we will be uh, getting up early by bed uh, by around 5 a.m. So that you can, uh, the that time around, that will be a, a good to peaceful time to study. 
so that i also utilize that sir so that it is very much helpful during my preparation days sir and then, mm-hmm. so like if you have to listen by 5 am sharp you have to log in means you have to wake up at 4:45 and there will be a lot of adrenaline rush because it will be like uh, power packed sessions which will be going from 5 to 6 am and you get that early start that feeling that you have already done something keeps you moving the whole day and the energy will be at a different level ah uh, yes sir so that uh, I, the class were around got by 45 minutes during that 5 am session sir so with that uh, boost up it's also i had and so somehow i study for that sir that keep on going day by day for a week sir so that i continued with the next uh, after the even after the session over i also continued the same for the next uh, continue to do that waking up 5 am and doing that reading so that's a very boon for me sir fantastic uh, simple uh, can you please share your views about adr plexus uh, sir adr plexus is really awesome sir without uh, uh, without uh, sir, arun sir and the adr plexus team i am i am not uh, yes, without no, it's all ui effort uh, simple we just uh, supplement it right that's it like uh, it's all ui efforts um, i mean enjoy the moments and do that and Who are the faculty who inspired you the most in the area practices? Uh, so all faculty, uh, difficult to fact, difficult to point out each and every faculty, sir. All are very really awesome, sir. So to point out means I will be saying uh, Dr. Rakesh Nair is uh, his class are really awesome, sir. And uh, uh, I'm a big uh, fan of him, sir. His class very <laughs> different very approach, good. sir. Sorry, very good. Uh, Uh, your class also very uh, different approach sir so the each and every student will be two way interact even if you are sitting in a group will be uh, like a two way interaction so that the student will be also something on the day end of the day class they will be studying knowing something about the subject sir. yeah uh, that's all like uh, to make the things easier and because you will be sitting for 12 hours to make things easier and uh, to get interact that's what we do that yes uh, Fine, sir. And once again, heartiest congratulations. Enjoy the moment, and congratulations to you and your parents, your sister, and other family members, and also your uh, teachers who found your yes. who gave this foundation, starting from the schooling till under graduation. Are your parents around by any chance? And um, no, sir. Actually, I am convey my um, congratulations to them. Enjoy this moment, and all the very best uh, in all your future endeavors. Uh, Yes. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, thank you so much, sir. And thank, thank you. you for the whole the team of Area Process. We are very happy that we played uh, a significant role in your success. Thank, yes, you. thank you so much. Thank you.